Hello, this is uh, Frank again with a new chapter on using uh, Vegas Pro to make videos. Uh, specifically drone videos, but of course this can be used for any kind of uh, editing to create any kind of videos. Today we're going to be talking about computer RGB versus studio RGB. RGB is the red, green, black uh, values that you give to the computer 8-bit normally going from 0 to 255 and uh, you use them on three channels red green and blue so we're just going to be talking about uh, just one color uh, grayscale just to understand because uh, we're going to be talking about the range of uh, these values that are used in editing so when you are editing in uh, Vegas Pro, you're actually using computer RGB and you are visualizing computer RGB on your preview screen. That means that zero is the actual black and 255 is the actual white. And, there, and it uses the full range between zero and 255. Now, that being said, displaying a video is can be different and uh, that depends on the player uh, for example you have a windows media player which will just play computer rgb from 0 to 255 no problems but then uh, there is vlc media player for example then also uh showing these videos on a television set on a big screen if you use for example apple tv to uh, stream one of these videos and also another one is youtube and vimeo so all of them do read the full data of the file which is the video but only display a certain range of it and the range they display is um studio rgb as you can see below they only display from value 16 to value 235 everything below 16 is just shown as black and everything above 235 is shown as white so as you can see the range that is visible is less than computer rgb so that being said, how does it actually look like when displaying computer RGB on a player that displays studio RGB? The example that I have above here is you can see the computer RGB range from 0 to 255. And then below, you see that same computer RGB in that video file played by VLC, uh, YouTube or Vimeo or a television set that plays it in studio RGB. As you can see, in the black levels, there is some data around the black levels that is very dark gray, but there is some color data in there. In the black level here, Everything that is below 16 is just black. So it cuts off this data from the original video that you get from your camera when displaying. That data really is in the video file, but it, do it doesn't show it. It's the same with the white. Um, as you can see, there's a range here where there is still detail in the white, but if you look down here you will see it caps it off and so there is an area where you will only see white although there's normally some video data in there so um players that use studio rgb are really uh, gonna cut off uh, some data in the bottom and the top of the rgb value spectrum um, next we are going to visualize this um some real drone footage so here I'm showing a short clip of a real existing drone clip from a video I made a few weeks ago. 
it actually shows uh, two things very clearly in this uh, clip. First of all, on the dark side, you can see there's still some detail in there that you want to see from the ori from the original footage. And uh, here you can see the detail too. And then you have the sun. And uh, I'm not showing any clouds right now, but mostly you can also have that same problem with the uh, white clouds. But uh, we have the sun here. And as you can see, at one point, uh, the colors uh, start to hit under 255 so it's uh, very bright and then it starts to fade off and start to use the full uh, color range to uh, show the sky to transfer into the sky color now uh, the problem being is all this data is in there but what happens if you play back uh, with the displayer that shows in studio RGB is you suddenly lose all this uh, as you can see right now I'm gonna click as you can see it becomes more contrasty and you know it might look nice if that is what you're going for in an edit but uh, what you really want to do is whatever you are editing and whatever your end result is is what you really want to see and you don't want the displayer to change that. So what happens when you use Studio RGB? As you can see here in the dark area, when I click back and forth, you have some data in there. When I look through Studio RGB, it's pretty much all black. Same here. You lose a lot of the detail in the dark part of your range. And then the sun is very, very obvious. Um, when I click it, you see the white starts earlier, starts at the value 235 instead of 255, which is around here in the real data. So it starts to clip the white and uh, it shows a lot less white in the range on the higher part of the RGB range. So this is no good. You're going to work really hard on your color correction, your contrast, your brightness. You're going to be very happy the way it all looks like. I didn't do anything on this video, but this is just clean video from the camera. But let's say you have been doing all that work and then suddenly you want to put it for everybody to see and they play it back and they see it this way. That's not what you want. So there is a way to fix this in Vegas Pro. So you can actually edit the way you want to see it. And then at the very last moment, you're going to add a functionality that will not make it look like this in the player. So the trick to use is to add a video output effects on your full project all the way at the end when you're done editing. Uh, you can add it by clicking on this button here, video output effects. This will add it for the full project. When you click on it, you have all these uh, effects plugins that you can add to your footage. Uh, one of them is called Vegas Levels. So we double click on it, it's added into the list say okay and then we get the settings now what does this do it tells you at what level black starts here it says it starts at zero and white ends at one so zero is actually zero rgb value one is 255 rgb value so let's say if i say black starts at uh, 0 0.5 which is 125 RGB if you put it in the middle this is the effect that you get so a lot of it gets cut off uh, same you can do on the white side you know you can brighten it out and totally clip it off so but if you have both of them at the extreme then you are actually looking at the full computer RGB range now, what you really want to do is when it plays back in studio RGB, you want the value 16 
to be black. And you also want the value 235 to be full white instead of 255. There is a preset in levels. If you go here, preset, you click on it and it says computer RGB to studio RGB. You click on that. This is not something I made. This is something that already exists in the levels effects. Here I can turn it on and off. So what, what happens if you look at the blacks, you see that it adds, it makes the blackest of, of the blacks, which is normally value zero, it turns it into value 16. It makes it a little bit more gray, grayish instead of totally black. And the same happens here with the white also. So this is total white. You will notice that when I add it, it makes it a little bit duller. So it turns it into value 250, uh, sorry, 235. So it does that for the whole range. So what happens is it looks like it makes it less contrasty and a little bit more hazy. But when you play it back on a studio RGB display, it will actually look like this. So this is a trick that you can add to Vegas and it's called the level, the levels effects output. And you put it to computer RGB to studio RGB. Once you have uh, levels added with these settings, you can just go to your render as, uh, select which uh, output format you're gonna use. We'll, um, we're not gonna do that right now or explain which one to use right now. Just uh, the one that matches the best to your project and uh, we render it out. Which format to use, we'll discuss that uh, in another video because that uh, is uh, very specific also. Uh, there's a lot of information there that we need to know to get the really good uh, videos on YouTube. So we are in YouTube now where I uploaded my video. I'm gonna go to uh, full resolution. Uh, I'm also going to play it back uh, one fourth of the speed just uh, so you can actually see what's going on. It's uh, taking the clip that I was using in Vegas Pro uh, and it will play it a few times uh, forward and backwards. And uh, the first time it will play it, as you can see right now, it will play it without changing it to a studio RGB using the levels effects plugin. So as you can see, blacks are totally black. There's not much detail right here in the darker areas. And the sun is really blown out, uh, clipped bigger than it actually shows in the original footage. So when we play it, so the first back and forth, it's just gonna show the studio RGB as, as the play, this player shows it. So let's go and make it fourth. Now it changes, as you can see, it brightens up a little bit on the dark areas. And now you can see all the area in the dark. You can see a lot more area here than you were able to see here. Um, also, the sun is smaller because it clips less right here. The sun is smaller. So that means that now we are actually, uh, the data is still computer RGB, but it is displaying in studio RGB, the way we were actually seeing it in our editor when we were editing. And you can only get this if you add that effects level change. So just to look at it for the last time again, uh, Totally black areas, overshot sun. Now adding that fix that I told you about. It's showing it good. I'm showing it bad again without the fix. 
and now we're showing it correctly again with the fix so um, I hope this helped uh, this is uh, one of the first technical um, explanations uh, on using Vegas Pro to create good videos on YouTube Vimeo and uh, other displayers also one uh, thing that is very important to say is that if you want to see how a specific video a specific video clip how it will look like in YouTube just play it in VLC media player that one will always show in studio RGB if you want to look at what the actual computer RGB values are how much data you actually have in that clip in the dark areas in the bright areas just uh, use Windows media player and that one will show it in studio RGB so hope you've learned something bye bye